Paul Kent was an American character actor who starred in film, television and theater for over five decades. Kent is perhaps best known for playing Lieutenant Commander Beach in Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, and Dr. Kellen in Hotel. Biography Early life Kent was born on October 13, 1930 in Brooklyn, New York. He studied acting at the Pasadena Playhouse and briefly served in the United States Army during the Korean War. In 1958, he and his parents moved from New York to California, where he trained under Sanford Meisner and later assisted Meisner with his classes. The two became close friends and colleagues during Meisner's life, and when Meisner left Los Angeles to go back to New York, he left his teaching methods to be carried on in the West by Kent who consequently taught acting for many years through his theater. Kent played a part in the formation of Lucille Ball's Disillu workshop, where he became the first acting student signed by the workshop. According to Hedda Hopper, when Kent appeared at the workshop to help a female friend at an audition, he was discovered by Ball and promptly signed to an actor-stage manager contract. Kent's acting roles during this period included a small part in an episode of December Bride in 1957. Acting instruction in 1964, Kent founded the Melrose Theatre in West Hollywood with the assistance of fellow actors including Tom Troop. Carol Cook, Richard Bull and Don Leitner. Funds for the theatre were partially raised by a guest appearance with Lucille Ball and Gary Morton on the popular game show Password. Kent later recalled in an interview with the Los Angeles Times. Throughout the 1960s, the Melrose employed actors who went on to become well-known performers, including Richard Dreyfuss. Many of the theater's plays were broadcast on local CBS television affiliates. In 1976, Kent entered into a partnership with workshop organizer Joe Marie Ward to purchase a former bakery and photographer's studio at 733 North Seward Street, in Hollywood. With the assistance of Ward and members of the workshop, the building was renovated and converted to the new Melrose Theatre in 1977. The new, larger theatre became the permanent headquarters of the Melrose, with Kent installed as artistic director and Ward as managing director. In 1984, Kent decided to create a production employing the largest possible number of Melrose actors and convened several playwrights at the Mark Taper Forum to write a play in a bar setting to be produced by the theatre. The resulting collaboration, The Bar of Melrose, was credited to 15 playwrights and employed nearly 40 actors. The play premiered successfully in 1986, and is still performed today at various theatres, drama workshops and colleges acting career while serving as artistic director of the Melrose Theatre. Kent also acted in many of its plays, and continued acting in film and television. He often worked with directors Robert Michael Lewis and Gene Reynolds, Star Trek producer Harva Bennett, and actor William Shatner. One of Kent's acting appearances in the 1970s was a small part in the television miniseries Helter Skelter. The part was notable because Kent later played a different character in the 2004 adaptation directed by John Gray. Gray later brought Kent back to play a spirit in an episode of his TV series, Ghost Whisperer. In addition, Kent often played different characters in multiple episodes of a series, including his appearances in Lou Grant, J. Hooker and Falcon Crest. In 1987 Kent played Harry M. Daugherty in a made-for-TV biographical film of J. Edgar Hoover, produced by Showtime. In 1999 Kent became the third actor to play the character of Dr. Noel Clinton in Port Charles, a spin-off of General Hospital, succeeding actors Dean Harrens and Ron Hussman. Kent later had a lead starring role as the character of Miles Mason in Viagra Falls, a television pilot. One of his final acting roles was his portrayal of Max Ennett in Return to Babylon, an independent film released in 2013. 
In 1975, Kent reflected on his craft to Los Angeles Times reporter Lawrence Christen. In 2002 the Melrose Theatre was acquired by the National Comedy Theatre chain. It is currently the home of Comedy Sports LA. Personal life Kent was the father of several children. At the time of his death he had been married to actress and author Madeline Kane. Death Kent died on October 7, 2011 from multiple myeloma. He was buried in Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Hollywood Hills. Partial Filmography